and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. Geneva to New York flights on Swiss and United Airlines now. There is pent-up demand for travel to Switzerland from the United States, and this is welcome news for both leisure and business travelers. Swiss will operate up to four flights a week to New York's JFK from December 14, 2021. United Airlines will resume Newark-Geneva flights on November 1, 2021, with four flights a week. United Airlines and Swiss are co-share partners and members of the Star Alliance. Swiss International Airlines, Switzerland's national flag carrier, has announced that it will resume flights between Geneva Airport, GVA, and New York's John F. Kennedy International Airport, JFK, on select days of the week starting in December 2021. Swiss will operate up to four flights a week to JFK from December 14, 2021. United Airlines has also announced that its service between Geneva Airport and Newark Liberty International Airport EWR, will resume on November 1, 2021, with four flights a week. The two airlines are co-share partners and members of the Star Alliance. There is pent-up demand for travel to Switzerland and this is welcome news for both leisure and business travelers. That's especially true for those looking for direct flights to Geneva and to Vaud, the French-speaking canton on the shores of Lake Geneva. The decision by Swiss and United is vital for business and tourism in the capital city of Lausanne, home of the Olympic Museum, as well as in such lakeside cities as Montreux and Vevey. The timing of the announcement is also ideal for the start of the 2021-22 ski season at winter resorts, including Villars, Les Diablerets and Laysen, as well as at Glacier 3000. The route between Geneva and New York is one of the airport's most historic connections. It was launched just after the war in 1947 to link the two United Nations centers and has served as a diplomatic bridge. Today, Geneva is home to more than 30 intergovernmental organizations and nearly 400 NGOs. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, the region hosted more than 3,000 international conferences and meetings per year. Many American multinationals have regional headquarters in French-speaking Switzerland and the airport is a vital link between the canton of Vaud and the United States for both business and leisure travel. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group. Or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etrobonews.com or travelnews.online.